everybody, this is Dr. Michael Shear coming to you talking a little bit about locator fixed and specifically how do we insert the locator fixed prosthesis. Since locator fixed doesn't use any sort of screws to hold that prosthesis in place, it relies upon a very, very precisely engineered locator housing and locator fixed insert. Very similar to kind of like what you would see with locator removable restorations. Housing and insert interface. And the summary is, is that the clinically, locator fixed should have a very similar workflow as your locator removable situations in your cases. Except that when we go ahead and we deliver the prosthesis, the locator fixed prosthesis shouldn't have any flanges on it. It should be a true hybrid fixed full arch solution without flanges and things like that, like an overdenture. So then you say to me, but how do I insert this prosthesis? Really? I recommend going ahead and just trying it with your fingers first, taking your prosthesis snapping it into place. Once you've gone ahead and you've tried snapping it into place, having the patient bite into occlusion, and then you can use a couple of other little aids to go ahead and ensure that your prosthesis is fully seated down all the way. If you're ever unsure, you can go ahead and make a panoramic or a periapical radiograph to go ahead and confirm the complete adaptation of your prosthesis. Let's take a look at a couple of these little techniques up close. When we go ahead and we take our locator fixed prosthesis, we now have our flangeless prosthesis that's in the shape of a hybrid restoration. We have our zest locator abutments in place in approximately the molar and canine position. Now, when we take our prosthesis and we're ready to seat it, we want to go ahead and place it into the mouth and then find where it just kind of wants to kind of grab. Then I take my fingers and I just really squeeze until I feel it pop into place. Now, I've got this side fully seated, but this side may not be fully seated here just yet. What I recommend doing first is just having the patient bite into occlusion to see if that will cause it to seat down all the way. You can also have the patient helping you by using a couple of cotton rolls here, like this in the posterior, or you can add a third cotton roll here to the anterior. So that way when the patient bites down, they're making like a tripod formation. Additionally, if you have any orthodontic chews or something of that nature, you can go ahead and take an orthodontic chew and have the patient bite down on an orthodontic chew to help you seat the prosthesis. Finally, there is the locator fixed insertion tool from Zest. The insertion tool is a little crown and bridge tapper like tool that has this little padded end to it. What you can do is, is you can go ahead and take this tool in the area where you think you'd like to go ahead and double check that your locator fixed prosthesis is fully engaged and just tap three times. It doesn't make a large force, it just makes a little bumping force. So as we take that and we take our prosthesis and we're going to say, all right, you're going to feel a little bump with a patient. You take that and you go click, 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 holding it into place. And now you can see that I've got the prosthesis fully seated down all the way. Showing that little instrument up close, I'll hold it very lightly with my fingers. One, two, three. One, two, three. Typically, between most of those techniques, you'll find that you'll be able to go ahead and insert your locator fixed prosthesis pretty effortlessly. This is Dr. Michael Shear coming to you with another video on locator fixed.